Basal cell carcinoma is the most common cancer of skin and the head and neck region. Out of all the cases, approximately 80% of the basal cell carcinoma cases are found on the skin of head and neck region. It is locally invasive, slowly spreading epithelial malignancy that arises from the basal cell layer of the skin and its appendages. Risk factors include ultraviolet radiations exposure, ionizing radiations exposure, arsenic ingestion. There is an increased risk to fair complexioned individuals due to a lesser protective shielding from melanin. Also, one of the risk factors is outdoor occupational activities. Like those of farmers and sailors who, due to their occupational duties, go through excessive sun exposure. Lastly, an allelic variation in DNA repair or pigmentation gene like melanocortin 1 receptor gene may also increase the susceptibility of a person for developing basal cell carcinoma. Damage to the DNA may cause mutation of patched gene on chromosome 9q22 and the smoothened gene along with mutations of PP53. These mutations result in a dysregulation of the hedgehog signaling pathway. This causes an enhanced cellular proliferation of the basal cell layer and hence giving rise to the basal cell carcinoma. Basal cell carcinoma mostly affects white adults with fair complexion and mostly older than 40 years of age. It is also termed as rodent ulcer. Just as a rodent nibbles anything under it, similarly, basal cell carcinoma locally destroys the skin and surrounding structures. It is a slowly growing, locally destructive lien with induration, central crusting and rolled borders. It mostly affects sites above an imaginary line joining the angle of mouth and the tragus of ear. Liens mostly involve the nose and upper lip and may also affect the forehead, etc. The variants of basal cell carcinoma are pigmented, infiltrative or indurated, nodulo-ulcerative, keratotic, morpheiform or sclerosing, adenoid, and lastly, superficial variety. To remember the variants, you can keep this mnemonic of pink mass in your mind to recall all these variants later on. There are islands and cords of malignant cells. Histologically, you will observe central basaloid cells. These cells are ovoid in shape with hyperchromatic nuclei. The peripheral cells exhibit palisading arrangement, that is, they are arranged at right angle to the central cells. You will also observe stromal retraction surrounding the islands of malignant cells in microscopic examination of the basal cell carcinoma lien. For a lien with low risk of recurrence, treatment options include surgical exion, electrodesiccation or curettage of the lien along with exion of 3 to 5 mm margin of normal appearing skin. For a lien with high risk of recurrence, Mohs micrographic surgery is the treatment of choice, which involves cutting away of thin layers of skin and looking microscopically for signs of cancer in each layer. Surgeon maps and marks exact site of tissue removal. The process keeps on going until no sign of cancer remains. However, radiotherapy may be advocated only if the patient cannot tolerate surgery. A recent advancement for recurrent and advanced liens is a drug called Vismodegib, which is a small molecule inhibitor of hedgehog signaling pathway.